Hello, this is Mr. Tripi, and I'm going to show you a technique called face weight and normals. If you're using Blender, this technique requires that you install an add-on. The most popular one that I know of is Blend for Web, which you can get the add-on here. Another one is Yavne, yet another Vertex Normal Editor, which you can install by Googling it and downloading from here on GitHub. Once you download that, you can go to your user preferences and hit install from file in the add-ons tab and install that zip folder. Now in real life, you won't see any perfectly hard edges like you do in 3D modeling. So you can get around that by adding a bevel with a bunch of loops and then setting the smoothing to smooth. This gives a really nice result. However, it doesn't perform well in video games because of all these extra triangles. Since this one has 452 instead of just having 12 for this. There is a technique to get around that called face way and normals, which uses normal editing to make it appear like it has smooth bevels. What you do is you apply a bevel with only one loop using control B in Blender. And then you have to use a normal editor. Again, I'm using Blend for Web. You need to activate it, which turns on Auto Smooth. Blender requires Auto Smooth to edit normals. So then you show your normals after you activate Auto Smooth. And you can hit Restore to bring it back to normal when you're using Blend for Web's normal editor. You then select each of the faces. to bring this into this when using face weighted normals to straighten them out with the faces, which gives the same normals as you have on this cube. This result will look almost identical while rendered or when using matte caps in Blender. Now the performance of this technique is very similar to just having hard edges as hard edges are rendered in a GPU, they have to split up each of these vertices for each normal it has, in this case three. So this one really has three vertices in each spot, just like this does. So this one only has a few extra triangles for the bevels. This means that the performance is only ever so slightly worse with this technique. And you can use this for high level of detail models and use this technique for your lower level of detail models so that when you're far away, these triangles don't really get showing any pixels. You will not have to render additional triangles. Games like Star Citizen use this technique to really boost their visuals as it adds an extra level of polish to them without hurting performance too much. If I export this out and I load it into a game engine such as Unreal, you will notice that it renders with almost identical results as well, which is also the case for Unity. This is Mr. Tripi and thanks for watching.